So as you read the title, I've walked about 4,056 kilometers. Let's talk about that. Yeah, this is a good mythical morning. So that was last year. 2021 was a big year for walking, I'll tell you what. That's a guess. I'm estimating pretty hard right now, like 370 kilometers per month, which is insane. I, I, I've i checked the data, like it's it's all over the place actually, but you get what I mean, like that's huge for someone who hadn't really tried and went out of his way. So walking was like actually a pretty recent habit of mine that I've incorporated gym stuff was fucking years and years and years upon years but actively tracking my walking has been a very recent phenomenon and I think it's for the better I think it is for the better it helps to track in calories too and you have physical activity easiest way to do cardio is just through jogging or sprinting or walking I prefer walk well it depends on the day. Maybe I feel like jogging. Saves me some time. A bit more intense, a bit more fun. Well, I guess fun, maybe. <sighs> that makes you... Makes the sleep better than uh, walking does. Unless you do, like, a shit ton of walking. Like, like uh... 10 miles of walking or something crazy like that. This is going to be my general experience of walking last year. I think I might have said that already. I've really embraced walking as a part of my daily routine last year. It had been one of the most beneficial habits alongside the weightlifting in terms of ROI. So yeah, I would have to say, mentally speaking, walking is incredible. Because you can do that every day, it's not super strenuous, so it's easy to do as well. It doesn't take much effort to start as well, but we are built for walking long distances like nobody's business built for endurance we are with that comes some questions I suppose what are the benefits right I mean I've written some down actually it has helped a lot with um, elevating mood I would say it was one of the better one of the easier more consistent things I could do to elevate depression mainly because it's so easy to do. The thing I've written down is it gives you immaculate vibes. By that I mean like sometimes you get like fantastical sunrises and sunsets. Sometimes you see like cherry blossoms bloom. Um, not very often obviously. Once a year or something like that. You get to see the fucking... In the autumn you get to see the leaves dry up and fall. Or in the summer you, you might get that rare summery rain where it's Hot, but also the rain cools you down a little bit so it's it's nice and refreshing but mostly I, I admire the scenery <clears throat> obviously my immaculate vibes does represent like the geography you're actually living in like I can't say like every town is good for this type of thing well, the confidence does develop over time like yeah yeah you have to be a, a bit at least a little bit surrounded by people at all times Unless I guess you do a night walk or a midnight walk, which which are nice and serene, but can be a bit creepy and lonely at times. So it's like a little coin toss of what you're gonna get on the day. Basically, around the same time the game's coming out, uh, Resident Evil Village. I think you know <laughs> the main selling point. So Capcom or Konami? I always get them confused. Whoever it was that makes Resi games, their uh, marketing team knew what they were doing. <laughs> Including that tall vampire lady as one of the the main selling points in the trailer. They were fucking geniuses. Oh, the old primal formula, sex sells. <sighs> Imagine a shaggy head. Black shaggy hair. Medium length. Goes about to the shoulders. Six foot. I think she was only slight. Six foot two. I think she was only slightly higher. Uh, taller than me. A nice plump, juicy boobs and a uh, delicious looking ass. <laughs> In a, I think she was wearing a white dress. 
I, I might be misremembering. It has been oh, quite a long time. I think it was about, I think it was cold. So it must have been around that time. Well, it definitely wasn't in December or anything. So that's that was, oh yeah, another, another story. You get to see some fucking creepy shit if you go out at night. I remember seeing, like, I don't know if I remember, I might have recalled this story before already on a different video, but there was this creepy cult, culty looking thing. It was this little church building in a nearby town. And they had like a little circle thing going on that fucking freaked me out so much. I tried to avoid the people that came through. They were fucking silent too when I was standing in the circle. That was the creepiest part. Absolute silence. And then you just see them exit. I was like, fuck this. I'm speed that fucking. Speed my fucking legs up. Fuck that. Absolutely avoid that shit. If you, if you can, obviously. Don't want to die on yourself. Also helps with mental health and it gives you a little life experiences and stories too. I don't know what it doesn't do actually. I guess it doesn't feed you. It helps with uh, losing weight, obviously. It's one of the kind of lesser bit benefits. I mean, over time, it's sort of. It's a sort of meditation in itself. It's like something zen about just walking. It's a constant movement you can get. That's just as, as fucking sustainable as shit. It is quite an adventure. It's, it's quite the journey. It's just something about it. Uh, I suppose if you don't listen to any podcasts or any music, you can self-reflect a lot and you can meditate on what your like what your mind's been drumming up. That's very useful. It's like a free flow journal activity actually is to go for a nice walk because it's such such a easy thing to do and it just I think it jogs your memory a bit too. I mean Studies have proven that movement and the brain health is correlated. So it makes sense that it will jog your memory. Easy cardio, as I said, it's really easy, sustainable. Just easy start, easy go. Just get a Fitbit, man. That's all you really need. Fitbit, a phone, sync it up. There you go, boom. That's it. Oh, I guess you put in your weight as well to actually get the accurate reading. Well, it's semi-accurate. It's actually not that accurate. Sad to say, I mean, your depth, stride length can vary a lot. Maybe the way you walk also changes up the, the amount of steps you do, I suppose, as well. Besides stride length, right? Yeah, because it's linked to the arm, so the leverage is what would not be the right way around sometimes, depending on how you walk. But either way, it's nice and easy and it's great exercise I'll tell you what one of the best entrancing movement yeah it's kind of like the same point as the meditation stuff another big big benefit is you learn the geography of your own town you get to explore a few places you get to learn like like the town like the back of your hand you feel more at peace more at home the less unknowns you have in your town the more you feel like you actually live here and are rooted you haven't really lived in the town unless you kind of know like every nook and cranny over years and years even still you will probably miss a few things like i have recently i've noticed there have been a few developments over town that i have i didn't know when they started i don't know when they ended i just know that the town's been changing up recently big big renovation during the start of the year which was quite exciting actually i was like it's like finding out like there's like a new seasonal event in a fucking RPG game that you play that's an MMO or something. That's how I felt. So it's, it's pretty quite fun to see. So it's actually quite good effective escapism. You get to forget about certain things. You get to... I, re, I always reframe my mind because I use this as a stress relief mechanism and as a way to get my anger out. Is I ruminate on my thoughts and I rationalize and reason reason out why things went that way and what I could have done sometimes 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 there isn't really much I could I could have done 
in that case I need to employ stoicism and just forget about things I can't control. If it's something I couldn't have controlled, why, why think about it? Sometimes I just think about how exactly people have screwed me over. It helps. And it helps that you get, you get to go away from the people that you kind of hate for the, for the moment and enjoy the company of yourself that you get to look forward to and you can just enjoy the moment as well. Very powerful stuff. Oh fuck, I'm freezing. My hands are freezing, man. Ooh, my fingers are fucking solid. I hope you've enjoyed Talk from the Void. Uh, it's been your boy, Nick Challenge Man. I uh, don't know when to do the usual shit. I'm just too in pain <laughs> to care. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.